this on the radio and get a free DVD. Welcome back to the PM Show Weekend Edition on CRN Digital Talk Radio. I'm Michael Horn. That's the one and only Robert Conrad. Coming up, we got the great Steve Betcher is going to be here. He is the uh, man behind the uh, the producer, the director of Pioneers of Television. But first, we have. Uh, oh, wait a second. But first, we have for those of you that check us out on YouTube. Too bad I'm just they can't see me. On uh, you stream. Here down. That's all they want to see is here down. They I'm don't really care. Good. He's busting some moves, ladies and gentlemen. For you that just are on the radio, Robert Conrad stood up and busted uh, a few moves. Had some this fun. Time. Had some fun. All right. Now, Justin is on there. You want to know how old Justin was yeah, on his Justin, birthday? Justin, how old were you last week? Justin, how old were you last week when you had your birthday? Justin? Can you guys hear me? Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. how old were you last oh. week? Oh, 28, thank you. Oh, that's young. All right, good. Well, listen, tell your mom, please. Uh, we love her being a part of the show. Seriously. And you keep yeah. calling, and we'll have some fun, Justin, and it's nice talking to you. Yeah, you too. I just want to say thank you for the for the birthday song last week. That was my intention of getting on with you guys here. Well, so. I just hope that ne- next year, you know, uh, God bless, uh, God willing, we can do it again. Sing happy birthday. I love it. Okay, tell that your mom. Wonderful. Tell your thank mom you. goodbye you and good night. Thank you, sir. All, All right. right, let's sneak in. We can do Doug if you want to, because we don't can, have our guests ready we, yet. Can we do Doug and uh, can we do Archie? He's been waiting a while. Or no. Let's go to Doug first. And then right. You want to go to Archie first? No, no. I want to do, no, do Doug then Archie. Doug then from Mary. New York How's City. It going? How are you guys doing? We're doing good, man. Uh, what's going on in New York? How's the weather? Oh, man, it's it's cold up here. Let me tell you. I love it. I mean, I love that city. It's my f- second favorite, and and that includes well, it doesn't include Europe. But yeah, I really I love New York. Uh, a guy that's uh, been a buddy of mine for uh, many many years. He was my driver for 20 years. Wow. Uh, loves New York, and he's uh, Tim. Tim, Tim, yeah, Kelly? he's got three more years before his pension's full, and then he's uh, he's going right back to New York. To New York, he's going there again. Yeah, and <laughs> what he wanted. Now I got to tell you the story, uh, Doug, because he said, uh, I, cl- "I shut that company down. It was enough, enough, enough." And uh, mm-hmm. uh, I it got everyone got the like not four weeks notice. They got like six months. The, the wow. old man, the old man, the boss is going to call it a day. So anyway, Tim's wow. doing really well today. But I said, "What do you want for severance?" I mean, you know. How much or what do you want? And he said, I want you to come back to New York and I want you to meet my buddies. <laughs> ah. <laughs> and I did. And it was great. Wow. It, it was really great meeting all the people from his neighborhood. All right. So what's up, Doug? Good. No, I just wanted to call in and wish you guys a happy new year. Both Thank you, you uh, and Mike. Thank you. And um, uh, I wanted, I didn't get a chance to call in on your, on your Christmas show, but um I wanted to thank you for playing my uh, CD, my Christmas CD, the one I, I sent you guys. Right. Okay. Very good, Doug. Neat, very good. Doug. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thanks. Thanks a lot. That that was really sweet of you guys to do that, and uh, you know, I hope you enjoyed it and all. But I appreciate it very much. Okay. Good stuff. We appreciate yeah, we, you listening. Yeah, we, we did enjoy it. We wouldn't have done it. Yeah. We 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 are who we pretend to be. Thanks. Doug. Yeah. Hey, Doug. Thanks, man. Yeah, thanks a lot. I'm looking okay. forward to the uh, PBS special, too. I can't wait to see it. I'm going to look for that. I'm looking forward to it, uh, too, because it was live when we did it, and I'm anxious to see how it turned out. Yeah, so I'll be, I'll be watching. No, oh, that's great. Yeah. yeah. Are they going to talk about the Wild Wild West? They're going to yeah. talk about the whole career. That's what We can yeah. find out next because we got Steve Betcher ready to go here. Yeah. Doug, thanks for the call, my great. man. Okay, thanks a lot, guys. Right. Thank Take you, care. Doug. Hey, RG, I thought you weren't going to call, call today. Yeah, I called earlier, but I got home in time. All right, thanks for your latest gift, and thanks for your letter. We got a guy waiting, R.G., and I know you've been waiting for quite a while, so what's on your mind? Did you get the gold dollar? Yeah, brother. Thank you. Okay. Hey, I'm sorry about your friend that passed on, Anne France. She was on Black Sheep. Oh, wow. Wow. I didn't know that. When did she pass away? Yeah, last night. Oh, my gosh. I did not know about that either. What a great star, Anne Francis. Yeah. All right, buddy. Take care. All right, thanks, R.G. Yeah, I'm sorry you had to wait so long. That's horrible. You take care now. All right, thanks. All right, Uh, now we've got two people. Hopefully we'll hang in there for a minute because this gentleman's been waiting forever. Mary, hang in there. Don't go anywhere, girl. All right, we got Steve uh, here. We're talking about this true series that you put together. It's going to be on PBS, the... uh, uh, the the uh, the pioneers of television and the you among with some other great stars are featured on there. And we have the producer, the director of Pioneers of Television. It's the second season on PBS. Steve Betcher is with us. Steve, welcome to the uh, broadcast. Hey, Michael. Hey, Robert. How are you guys doing? Oh, I'm doing good. I was uh, a five uh, when I first got here. Now I'm a seven. Things are good. <laughs> Getting better. Great, man. How are you hey, doing? 
we decided to work the whole series is going to be about Conrad. That's all we're doing. We're going to do like <laughs> six hours. Just on Conrad. Oh gosh, well, you lose me. You'll get me for about fifteen minutes, but then, uh, yeah. So, tell yeah, us about Finders this television coming up on uh, PBS. Uh, it's starting January eighteenth. The first episode. It's an hour on science fiction. Uh, the next week, it's an hour on uh, westerns, and, and then we get into crime drama and local kids TV. So it's like a four our series coming up on national pbs good so the 25th is when we're going to be uh, seeing our buddy here robert conrad right he's the centerpiece of the show just to let everybody know yeah tell us about the show how did pbs get the idea to put this thing together what was the whole thought you know, it, this is actually the second season we actually came up with the idea and i'll tell you it started out with milton burrow i had lunch with milton burrow at the friars club years ago and we talked about this idea and he actually kind of green lit it with the friars club and said hey will introduce you to everybody at the Friars Club. So the first pilot episode was with, like, really these, you know, iconic guys. Like, you know, it was the Bob Hope, and it was Red Skelton, and it was Burl, and it's Sid Caesar. And all those guys kind of helped me convince PBS this is something worthy of doing. So that's really kind of was a catalyst for the entire program. And then this is the second season, the season opener, as you mentioned, coming yep. up this month on the 16th. And you said you're talking about sci science fiction and then uh, westerns. How did the process go to get our buddy here, a true American icon, as I say every week, Robert Conrad? A lot of negotiations with agents, managers, talent reps. You know, we had to fight them all to get to Robert. Oh, come on. That was easy. <laughs> all you got to do is drop a dime, and I'll say, yeah, okay, I guess. You know, sure, I'm you know, easy. I, I'll tell you, you know, we're really, we're really excited. We really kind of think the cornerstone of this program is kind of hearing from the guys and the women that were there were on the line of duty, if you will, and we're kind of the you know the pioneers, if you will, and we're there, and uh, we're on the sets, and that's we don't really talk to a lot of historians or you know TV critics. We really want the people that were there. Well, and so I was excited to to be in the company of uh, the people, Mar uh, Martin La Landau. I yep. I I, I uh, didn't know uh, uh, his career that in 1955. I was still back in Chicago watching. Uh, Playhouse 90, but anyway, he was on Broadway. What a ma magnificent career he had. And, <gasps> and then I'm, I was uh, also with uh, a guy whose show I did, and, and, and I was really thrilled with that, that opportunity, that p performance. And uh, t tell us, t uh, if, yeah, you, if you don't mind. Yeah, who's featured on there? Yeah, talk about some of the people at that special yeah. that we were. The, uh, well, I'll tell you one thing about Martin Landau. In the Western segment, we spent a lot of time talking about the art of you know, fighting, and mm. um, Robert, you had a huge scene with him oh, yeah. years back in a fight. Remember in, in the ring, in the black and white episode of you with Martin Landau, and we spent a lot of time talking about that with him and what it was like kind of staging a fight with you. So um, that's in the Western episode. But, yeah, we have James Garner and Bill Cosby and Shatner and Leonard Nimoy and Angie Dickinson, Peter Graves, Michelle Nichols, Bill Moomey. I mean, the, the list goes on and on and on. Unreal. We were at that. And uh, Mike Connors was Mike with Connors. me. Yeah, who was there at that uh, that little kickoff? It was Mike Connors. It was uh, Robert Conrad. It was Linda Ma Evans Martin and Landau. Michelle Nichols from and, Star Trek. And, yeah, and, and Martin Landau. Landau. And yeah. Martin Landau, and correct. Marty was there, too. Yeah, yeah. well, yep. she said something that really impressed me when, uh, when she said that uh, uh, Martin Luther King came into her dressing room and said to stay with the show because she was the only African-American in a television series. I thought that was really moving when she yeah, did that. A really that. pivotal moment where yeah. she was getting ready to leave the series and just didn't feel like the scripts were kind of going her way and that she really had that big a role and she was ready to move on and, and literally Martin Luther King met her at a party and said to her that you are really have to stay on. This is very symbolic what you're doing and an African-American woman in you know fourth in command of the of the starship, and uh, it was just something that was really important. He Steve, thought Steve, hang on here because I want to make sure we get the exact uh, dates on when this is coming up again and the website. Uh, Steve Betcher is with us. He's the producer of this uh, Pioneers of Television with Robert Conrad featured. Are you struggling with too much credit card debt, sky-high interest rates, late fees, over-limit fees, having trouble just making the monthly minimums? We can help. We're Credit Card Relief. We've helped thousands of people become debt-free.